Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Vice President, delegates to this convention and fellow citizens, in 75 days, I hope we enjoy a victory that is the size of the heart of Texas. Nancy and I extend our deep thanks to the Lone Star State and the Big D, the city of Dallas, for, for all their warmth and hospitality. Four years ago, I didn't know precisely every duty of this office, and not too long ago, I learned about some new ones for the first from the first graders of Corpus Christi School in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. <laughs> little, little Leah Klein was asked by her teacher to describe my duties. She said, the president goes to meetings, he helps the animals, the president gets frustrated, he talks to other presidents. How does wisdom begin at such an early age? Tonight, tonight with a full heart and deep gratitude for your trust, I accept your nomination for the presidency of the United States. I will campaign on behalf of the principles of our party, which lift America confidently into the future. America is presented with the clearest political choice of half a century. The distinction between our two parties and the different philosophy of our political opponents are at the heart of this campaign and America's future. I've been campaigning long enough to know that a political party and its leadership can't change their colors in four days. We won't, and no matter how hard they tried, our opponents didn't in San Francisco. We didn't discover our values in a poll taken a week before the convention. And we didn't set a weather vane on top of the Golden Gate Bridge before we started talking about the American family. The choices this year are not just between two different personalities or between two political parties. They're between two different visions of the future, two fundamentally different ways of governing. Their government of pessimism, fear, and limits or hours of hope, confidence, and growth. Their government, their government sees people only as members of groups. Ours serves all the people of America as individuals. There's Theirs lives in the past, seeking to apply the old and failed policies to an era that has passed them by. Ours learns from the past and strives to change by boldly charting a new course for the future.